This beaker contains distilled water. When I test it using a conductivity apparatus, nothing happens because distilled water does not conduct electricity. For this video, I'm going to try and dissolve and then test the conductivity of solutions made from a variety of compounds, starting with sodium chloride. Solubility rules predict that sodium chloride will be soluble in water, and when I stir it up here, we can see that it dissolves pretty easily. When I test the conductivity of this solution, we're able to see the light bulb light up because this solution conducts electricity. Here, I'm going to repeat the same test using potassium bromide, another ionic compound. As expected from solubility rules, potassium bromide dissolves pretty easily and we can see that the solution is clear. This ionic compound dissociates and conducts electricity. Now I'm using sucrose, which is a covalent compound. Sucrose is soluble in water, but it takes a lot more effort to get it to dissolve. At the end, we still see a little bit of the undissolved compound sitting at the bottom. Because sucrose is a covalent compound, it doesn't dissociate into ions in solution, and therefore it does not conduct electricity. Here I'm testing calcium chloride. Solubility rules predict that this should be soluble, and because it's ionic, we can predict that it should conduct electricity. Let's see what happens. As expected, the solution conducts electricity. The last compound that I'm using is sodium carbonate. Solubility rules predict that carbonates should be insoluble in water, but sodium carbonate is an exception. This is an ionic compound, so when it dissolves, we see that it's conductive. <laughs> 